In this video, we're going to carry on from where we left off with our first Jumbotron. So under here, we're going to implement our services section, which is going to be a div with an ID of services. And in here, we're going to have a div with a class of container fluid. And we're going to have a page header. Inside the page header, we're going to have a H1 element with a small element inside of it. It's going to say our services. For you. Right, so now we're going to be working with some rows and columns. So we're going to have a div, a class of row, and inside there we're going to have some columns. So we're going to have three columns that span the width of four columns. So we're going to have three columns that each take up a third of the width of the page. So we're working with 12 columns in Bootstrap, and if we use three columns that take up the width of four, that adds up to being 12 columns in total. So I hope that makes a little bit of sense. So we're going to do a div, a class of col, hyphen md for medium, and four. Now, inside each column, we're going to have an image. So we have some images and these surface icons that we'll be using have been obtained from roundicons.com forward slash free icons. And then they're just named sequentially in numeric form. So service one dot PNG and in our alt attribute, I'm just going to leave that blank. And then we're going to have a paragraph with a class of lead. So will give us some nice large-ish text. Prototyping. Then a paragraph with a class of info. This is a class we'll implement a bit later on. And there I'm just going to copy and paste some more lorem, some dummy text. Right. So that's our first column. So now I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this. Now we want three of them, so that's our full column. And now what we're going to do is we're actually going to implement some more rows. We actually want another three more rows, so we want four rows in total. So I'm just going to copy and paste this row. One, two, three. And there's our four rows. So now what we obviously want to do is change the name of these images. So service 2, service 3, all the way up to 12. Ten, eleven, and 12. And starting at the bottom, I'm going to have some lead text saying study. It'll make sense with these images quite shortly e-commerce, growth, on time, green energy, analysis, we've got documentation, design, CPM, cost per mile, in terms of advertising. Apple gear. And lastly, flash based storage. So there we have our services section markup implemented correctly. So let's save this and take a look in the browser. 
So as you can see, we've got these icons. They make sense relative to the lead text that we've put in there. So we essentially have four rows with three columns that span the width of four. So that would be equal to four columns, four columns, and four columns, making 12 columns. So, so far, we've built our home section, our navbar, and our services section.